Hey guys, this is Thank You for Chips. Welcome and thanks for watching this quick tips and guide video on farming a cave. We'll be doing this to get the chitin from the scorpions and spiders that spawn within. First off, we need to check and see if we got food and water because we do not want to starve during the run. It's quite long and there are numerous enemies in the cave depending on if someone has partially cleared it or not. So not sure how long it takes for the cave to reset just yet, but I think it's between 20 to 40 minutes. Make sure to take a pike and use this as your primary weapon. It is great for clearing the cave. Also make sure to have on some form of armor because there are big groups of enemies at this at times and they all hit at once killing you pretty quickly if you do not know what you're doing. You've kind of got to run and kite the enemies and spread them out a bit. Be careful of the spiders, they can hit you with a web cage and you are stuck in place. The scorpions can put you to sleep and the snakes they hit extremely hard. Also note you need to have a pickaxe and a hatchet with you. After killing the scorpions and spiders with your pike immediately switch to your hatchet. Using a hatchet procs more chitin and hide when chopping them up, a pickaxe will proc more food when chopping enemies up, and just using the pike seems to spawn all three and in less numbers. The chitin is used for cementing paste, which in turn is used for metal walls, and it takes four chitin or keratin and eight stone per cementing paste. It's hard to get a large quantity of chitin at once unless you set out to specifically hunt scorpions, trikes, and things with horns and spiky parts. They tend to give keratin. Spiders and scorpions are the only things I've killed with significant amounts of chitin. You should get 150 to 200 Triton per cave run if it's full and you properly kill them with your pike and get the max number of swings with your hatchet when farming the Triton. The cave is kind of confusing and a general rule of thumb I've seen is that downhill is going deeper into the cave and uphill is exiting the cave. Some of the paths I've noticed are shaped like a figure 8 and snake twist and turn throughout so be careful down there it's really dangerous. Go prepared and make sure to repair everything before you go and empty your inventory so that you don't fill up too fast when farming all that chitin it gets heavy really quick. Also take a proper amount of food and water before you go, I say 20 cooked meat and 5 flask of filled water. Once you are done farming chitin, go back to your base and construct the cementing paste on your mortar and pestle. Then I recommend using it on starting a metal foundation, metal walls, metal ceiling, metal doors, etc and all metal base for maximum protection thus far in the game. That's it for this guide. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more quick tips and guides on Ark Survival Evolved.